Hi, friends and family. It's Mary Lynn again, Obvi. Um, or should I say aloha? Aloha. Thanks, Brooklyn. Yes, this is your shirt. I borrowed it. Um, so today I went to John Muir and Concord and had my final run through for radiotherapy. Um, so I had to, you know, get undressed and lay on the table and they, um, there's two technicians who look at the tattoos that they put on me uh, during previous sessions, one here at the top of my abdomen, one on either hip, and then one lower abdomen right above my pubic bone. Um, they, they use those as markers uh, for where my body needs to align up on the machine um, so they know exactly where the beam, the external radiotherapy beam, needs to enter my body to hopefully shrink and shrink and shrink my tumor, which um, I saw a video of. <laughs> um, I think I mentioned that in the, my previous video, which was hard. Um, so I don't know if I told you guys already, but it's in officially four places. The cervix is where the large tumor is, and then three separate lymph nodes, um, kind of like one, kind of like on the side of my abdomen, um, and then like one next to my cervix, and the third one, I can't remember exactly where the third one, I think the third one is like near the top of the uterus. Um, so officially four places. Um, so, like I said, I did my final run through, and Monday we will start officially. My radiotherapy will start. I have a handy calendar that they gave me as if somehow I would forget that I'm in cancer treatment. Oh my gosh, I have that cancer treatment thing today that I've been going to every day. How could I forget that one day? So they give me a calendar. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Oh yeah, you kind of can, okay. So every day, my appointment is at 4.45. And you see I added in here every Tuesday, my chemo at 8 a.m. This is my life. This is officially my life. I'm gonna try to sprinkle in some work here and there. Um, not sure how I'm gonna really do that, but this is my life as it stands officially. My dates are Monday, May 7th through uh, June 11th for radiotherapy, but then chemo is supposed to go till uh, June 12th. Um, and then hopefully I'll be healthy. No, actually at that time, that's when they do the second type of radiotherapy, the surgical radiotherapy. Fun. I'm going to explain that in another video though, so stay tuned because that's like a whole video unto itself. Trust me, it is like very in-depth and detailed. Um, so I've been feeling okay. Um, I never really get like super sad or I never think like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Um, just sometimes I don't want to be alone, you know, like. Sometimes I'll be sitting in my house at night and I'll just be like, I kind of wish somebody was here right now, you know, just anybody to just talk to, just, I don't know, not even talk like about the cancer necessarily, but just like, I need something in my house at night to keep me occupied. I read, you know, like I read a really sappy romance novel last night. That was very entertaining, so that's helped. I tried to do that. Um, obviously, I watch a lot of TV. I love TV. Um, and then, like, sometimes I just try to show up at my family's house. <laughs> like, tonight, I just showed up at my mom's house. My grandparents were there, and they were watching a movie, so I was just kind of like, okay, bye. <laughs> um yeah, I think this weekend is going to be really difficult, like leading up to treatment starting. 
and everything that comes with it. I'm still so exhausted, but actually the last few days I haven't felt like death walking. Like normally I'm just like, I'm so tired. Like I was getting my nails done and I, she was doing my nails and I actually had to put my head down on the table because I was like, if I don't lay down right now, I might not make it. Like I, that's how tired I get like that tired. And it's not like I'd been doing a ton of things that day. That was like so hard. So once I start getting all this treatment, I'm supposed to be even more tired. Fun. So I need help. I need like, I need like ideas. Like I need ideas. How to keep my mind busy, keeping in mind that I'm extremely exhausted 99% of the time. But like, like, okay, obviously movies and stuff like that, TV, you know, hanging out with friends, you know, stuff like that. But like, what else, like, what do I do? Like, cause sometimes I just get like anxious and like my skin gets too tight for my body and I'm just like, ah, you know, and I use my essential oils and they're super helpful and I love them. But like, I need like fresh ideas, like from other people's brains, like help me, you know, give me, give me your ideas. What are your thoughts? How can I keep my mind occupied, you know, leading up to treatment? And then how can I like keep focused without losing my mind every day during treatment? You know, like how, how do you, how do you keep sane? How do you keep sane during all of this? And you know, like, I feel like I'm doing okay with that, but like, I haven't fully lost my mind, but I mean, there's got to be more I can do. There's got to be, there's got to be things I'm not thinking of. Like, help me, help me. Get, give me your ideas. Give me your feedback. What can I do? What should I do to keep my mind sane, to keep me okay, to keep me mentally fit, mentally there throughout this process? You know, because every day it gets like a little bit harder and I haven't even started I mean, I haven't even started officially. All of this crap has just been appointment after appointment after appointment after appointment. I mean, I had an appointment today. I'm like lucky I don't have one tomorrow. It's like the first day in a while I haven't had one. You know, I, I just, I need ideas. Please give me all your ideas. But I haven't asked anybody if they can do that. So hopefully, hopefully they can. Hint, hint, everybody. Um. Yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick check-in. A um, couple more days, then the fun begins. Love everybody. Thank you again for all your continued love and support. Please pray for me. I kind of super need it right now. Mentally, emotionally, everything. E. Love you guys. <laughs>